Girlfriend is mad I didn't get jealous over her? Title says it all. My girlfriend texted me this morning telling me that someone new at work gave her his number, and that she wanted to let me know to be transparent with me. I texted her back, verbatim, Oh it's all good, thanks for letting me know. I appreciate I can trust you. This did not bode over well apparently, as she began to get cryptic with me and stopped responding. I called her to ask what was wrong, and she stated that she felt as if I didn't give two shits about her due to my reaction, and it made her question whether or not I truly cared about her. Is this something that I did wrong? I told her I was going to give her some space and talk to her tomorrow about it. I don't understand how my reaction was bad. I just am not the jealous type as I'm comfortable with her. No, you're secure in the relationship and trust her. She wanted more drama. That's a her problem, not a you problem. My ex was stupid like this. She kept pushing to get me jealous until she went as far as cheating. Bitch almost gave me herpes. Yeah, don't play that game. She needs to grow the EF up. Oh so she toxic toxic huh? Your girlfriend is very immature. It's toxic to put partners through these kinds of tests in order to make them insecure. Things like this can kill a relationship. Have a serious conversation with her and let her know in no uncertain terms that this type of behavior is bad for your relationship. That's a huge flag and a clear indication that your girlfriend is way immature. If you acting jealous affirms for her or affection, then she's likely to become the type who requires a lot of drama just to know that you care. Which is toxic AF. If you'd acted jealous, she'd have been pissed off. You didn't act jealous, she's pissed off. You would never have won, no matter the move. Edit. Spelling. She gets off on drama. Red flag. She lied so she could go do cocaine and sleep with her ex. I've been seeing this girl for about six months now. It started casual, but things picked up after about a month. We hang out almost every day, and she even comes to stay with my family when I take my kids there. I have some pretty serious feelings for her, and she says she does for me too even though we haven't dropped the L word yet. I recently asked her to be my girlfriend, and she said yes. Well, last night I called her and she told me she needed to tell me something. For context, a couple days before Super Bowl weekend, one had asked if she wanted to watch the game with me and my family. She said she couldn't because she was going to watch it at her sister's house. I found it a little strange because she usually invites me when she hangs out with her sister and her brother-in-law. Things got even weirder when she stopped texting me back for almost that whole weekend, which is unlike her. When she finally messaged me, I asked if something was wrong, and she said she had smoked a ton of weed with her sister, and was out of it most of the weekend. Something felt off, but I accepted this. Well, fast forward to last night. She comes clean and tells me what she really did. She drove two hours to meet up with an ex, the only man she's ever said, I love you, too, according to her, who had said he could get her some LSD. She suffers from depression like I do, and has wanted to try LSD for a while. When she gets there, he tells her he can't actually get a hold of LSD, but he could get some cocaine. She somehow decides that's a good idea, and they get high. Then they have some good old-fashioned cocaine-fueled sex. I really like this girl, and technically I hadn't asked her to be my girlfriend at this point, but we were in a relationship in every way but name. Add that to the fact that she straight up lied to me about it. I feel sick. I drank myself to sleep last night. I don't want to be alone again, but I don't know if I can get past this. What do I do? Let's see. She lied so she could go see the ex. The ex was able to convince her to take a drug she wasn't originally intending to. The ex was able to convince her to get intimate. She lied after the fact to continue the original lie. And you're wondering what to do? That's easy. Break it off and find someone that actually respects you. If nothing else, do it so that you can honestly say to your kids that when someone treats you wrong, you need to stick up for yourself. Do you really need advice on someone who lied three times and cheated on you? You're trying to force a relationship, not have one. Why is this a post? Why did you need to ask anything? You should have answered yourself the moment you wrote out your title. Fucking break up with her and block her on everything and pretend she never existed. She cheated and broke the agreement leave her ASAP. It wasn't exclusive, but she did lie. And also cocaine. I'd remove my ability to contact her so that I am not tempted to make a bad decision. It's always said to read these posts where it's so obvious the person should walk away but they have such low self-esteem you just know they won't. Since it's obvious you're going to take her back, I just hope you keep your kids away from a drug user and liar and cheater but I think I already know you won't do that either.
we can go through the technicalities, but she ended up confessing the real truth because she knew she crossed a line. What if she told you off the bat she was gonna go see her ex and hook up since technically she wasn't your girlfriend? Would you have been okay with it? Probably not. Cut ties, move on. Don't waste any more time and emotions on that one. How do I feel about my date being trans? Girl id been hanging around and dating for months as trans and honestly feels kind of weird now. I have a million questions. I am not an idiot I know I can't talk to my friends about it but I feel confused. Now that she told me I can't help but put the fact that I was attracted to her in a new light. The thing I was attracted to were things like how tough she was and the fact that she wasn't a stranger to what I described before knowing as dude humor. It feels like IDK it's a different situation hanging with her. I am wondering if I am gay honestly. Like maybe I liked her so much because she was once a guy. I know that seems stupid but it's something that concerns me. My father was gay, and probably trans but this was before that was a common idea. He would dress as a woman and did drag and things like that. I am aware that this probably has something to do with my worry about being gay. I don't dislike gay people and I wouldn't necessarily care if I was gay but I'd rather know now than get married and do something cruel to my wife. I know this isnt a dig at all gay people but I do have a problem with my father and that's something I worry myself with. The fucked up part is that I do really like her but I feel like I like her for reasons that aren't fair? What if I am doing some strange thing like my father or what if I like her because of the qualities she kept after transitioning? I am sorry about the ramble but I rarely even vocalize these thoughts and I am curious how you feel about it. Honestly I think you might just be coming to terms with the fact that the category of woman is a lot broader than you first thought. There's no one way to be a woman. Did Nate Jacobs write this post? First of all I feel like you should solve your issues about your father. Try to talk to a psychologist or therapist. Your mind is going to feel much clearer. You're not gay for being attracted to her because you were attracted to feminine features and qualities, not masculine ones. Now that you know the truth of her biology, it is perfectly within your right to change your mind if that's what you choose. Being attracted to a woman does not make you gay. You're explaining being attracted to her personality, which is a woman's personality. Women can have traits that your male friends have. You're overthinking this, lol. I wouldn't worry honestly. I know of plenty of cis het women who are big tomboys and very masculine. You're worried about gender stereotypes, which I think most can agree are super one-dimensional and don't apply to everyone of a certain gender. You love her, for her. Ask yourself. Do you only love her for her gender? Would you love her if she had pre-op genitalia? I am assuming she's post-op, in all honesty. Labeling sexual orientation isn't a requirement and there's a huge spectrum of sexualities, bi, pan, ace, etc. And yes, you can be cis even if you date a trans person, even pre-op. Trans women are women and trans men are men. As someone in the LGBTQ community, you are allowed to have a genital preference. You're not gay for feeling attraction towards her. Trans women are women and trans men are men. Lo que importa es como te sientes, te gusta? Quieres estar con ella? Adelante, el resto no importa. I found out that my sister sent kids into school sick. Update the school found out anyway apparently my oldest niece was a lot sicker than my sister thought and her sister started showing symptoms about an hour ago. Hello I don't know if this is the right place for this. I'm 19 female, my sister is 26 female. She has an 8 year old, a 7 year old, and 2 toddlers with her husband, 35 male. Her husband doesn't think the pandemic is real. He thinks it's all a conspiracy theory created by the government, all of that rhetoric. My 8-year-old niece had little bit of a cold over the weekend but she seemed okay. I texted my sister today to see how she felt and my sister confessed that both she and her younger sister, the 7-year-old, were positive for COVID but her husband insists they're fine, since my oldest niece is feeling better and the 7-year-old was completely asymptomatic and they went to school anyway, he says that it doesn't matter who took the tests, they would have come back as positive no matter what. Do I call the school and let them know? I think my sister knows that it's messed up, she said, I know but their father insisted, so idk I know he'll get mad if they come home but idk what to do. I feel bad for all the other kids in school with them. Do I call the school and let them know? I'd absolutely give them a call. Sir Slee, your sister and her crappy husband endanger other people just because. She said, I know but their father insisted. Is she afraid of her husband? Does she have a support network in case things turn sour? The husband is pretty much a shitman. Because of him, 
hundreds of kids are being directly exposed to COVID. The kids may or may not be fine in the end, but if they spread it to someone who can't survive the disease, then it's directly his fault. Speaking as someone who works in an elementary school, call the school. Dot. Even with masks, sanitizer and protocols, it's crazy how fast germs spread from little one to little one. We just got through a mini flu epidemic here. Sending your puking, fever-ridden child to school says a lot about you as a caregiver. If the school chooses to ignore this information, fine. You did what you could. But that man shouldn't be risking other children's health and well s for his own selfish beliefs. This is off topic, but the fact that their first kid was born when she was 18 and her husband was 27. Yeah. Maybe he's not the best dude in the world. This is so fucked up. Do the right thing. My sibling is an elementary school teacher and idiots like these kinds of parents infuriate me. They are putting so many people's health at risk by pulling this kind of stunt. Please report them. Can't you anonymously call and say? I know I would want to know if my child were exposed. My mom is medically fragile and I try to protect her as much as possible and it's hard doing that when other people don't follow simple protocol. You literally could be saving someone else's life. Sorry for going off point but four kids at 26, and the oldest is 8? 